In this tutorial, we will walk you, the plan administrator, step-by-step -step through the process of adding an eligible new employee to your group benefits plan on the RAM Plan Administrator Services website. Did you know you can enroll any eligible new employee immediately upon hiring? The waiting period will be calculated automatically according to your plan design. In this tutorial, we will explore two possible scenarios for enrolling an eligible new employee. One, you have a completed and signed enrollment form from your eligible new employee. Or two, you wish to email a partially completed digital enrollment form directly to your eligible new employee using RAM's Send to Sign feature. Do not follow this tutorial if the employee has previously been employed at your company and enrolled in your group benefits plan. In this case, the employee must be reinstated. Instead, refer to planadministrator.ram.com forward slash resources for instructions on how to reinstate an employee. Now, let's get started. First, you will need to log in to your RAM Plan Administrator Services account. Visit the website planadministrator.ram.com to log in. Now that you're logged in, select Certificates from the top menu, then click Add Certificate. From the options provided in the drop-down menu, select the correct group, division, and class for this employee. You cannot return to change an error in the division or class fields, so ensure you're selecting accurate information. Click Next to proceed. Enter all the required and necessary information for your employee, like last name, first name, and date of birth. If you wish to use the Send to Sign feature, you will need to enter the employee's email address here. Unsure about something? Click Save as Draft to save your progress at any time. We encourage you to save your work between each step. This will ensure you do not lose your progress as your work will not be saved automatically. The website will time out if you have been inactive for over 20 minutes. Once you click Save as Draft, you will see a notification that your work has been saved successfully, and you can now safely leave the website or perform a different task. You can always return to a draft certificate by clicking Certificates, then My Drafts. Now, let's get back to the tutorial. Enter the date employed full-time, and if applicable, select Waive the Waiting Period. You will only see the option to waive the waiting period if you are within 31 days of the full-time employment date. If you intend to waive the waiting period and are outside of the 31 days from the full-time employment date, contact RAM for assistance. For more information about waiving the waiting period, Refer to the Plan Administrator manual found at planadministrator.ram.com forward slash resources or contact RAM for assistance at csr-groupadmin at ram.com. Now, select the occupation code from the drop-down menu. Unsure about the employee's occupation code? Click Save as Draft to save your progress then use the Occupation Code Breakdown to determine the correct code for this employee. You can find the Occupation Code Breakdown by visiting planadministrator.ram.com forward slash resources or contact RAM for assistance at csr-groupadmin at ram.com. Once you've entered the employee's occupation code, enter their occupation, earnings, and hours worked. If you are working from a completed enrollment form, you are not required to follow the next steps. They are only applicable to those looking to collect a digital enrollment form using the Send Sign feature. You are welcome to listen along in the event you wish to use Send to Sign in the future. Using the Send to Sign feature, Let's utilize the Send to Sign feature to email a partially completed digital enrollment form directly to the employee. Review the details in Employee Information, then click Send to Send Form for Signing. Your certificate progress will be automatically saved and you will see a pop-up asking for confirmation of your intentions. Click New Hire, then click Yes to proceed. 
If you wish to reinstate an employee, you are not using the correct tutorial. In this case, refer to planadministrator.ram.com forward slash resources for instructions on how to reinstate an employee. Once you click yes, the employee will be sent a digital enrollment form directly to their provided email address. You can now safely log out of your account or complete another task. Once your employee has completed their digital enrollment form, you will receive an email with the digital copy. Click the link provided in the email to download the completed enrollment form. Ensure you save this enrollment document and keep it handy as you will need it to finalize the enrollment process. You will also be required to retain a copy of this document for your records as it may be required by RAM in the event of a life insurance claim. Returning to a draft certificate to finalize enrollment. Now that you have a completed enrollment form, manually enter all the information provided by the employee. Enrollment is not finalized until this process is completed and you click Save Certificate. If you are not already in the required draft, return to the Plan Administrator Services website, click Certificates, then My Drafts. Select the employee's name to continue. You will need to use the employee's completed enrollment form to review and complete the information in Employee Information. Once satisfied with the accuracy, save your progress, then click Next. Complete the beneficiary information. If there is more than one beneficiary listed, you must indicate as such here. Write out the full name of the first beneficiary, their allocated percentage, then a comma. Continue adding names, percentages, and a comma until you have added all beneficiaries. If no beneficiary is listed, we encourage you to consult with the employee to determine their intentions. Without a beneficiary listed, all funds will automatically be allocated to the estate. Selecting estate means the funds will be subject to taxation through probate. Assigning the funds to a family member or loved ones forgoes the taxation process. If the employee wishes to appoint the estate as the beneficiary, please indicate estate. In the field Life Relationship Information, indicate the relationship this individual has to the plan member. Ensure it's in the same order as the reference name above. If the beneficiary appointed is under the age of 18, it is very important that a trustee is appointed as benefits cannot be paid to a minor. In the field trustee, add the first and last name of the trustee, indicate which beneficiary the trustee is appointed for, and indicate the relationship of the trustee to the beneficiary. Once you have completed entering the beneficiary information, save your progress, then click Next. In the Address and Banking section, use the drop-down menu to direct where the reimbursement for claims will be sent. The three options are Direct Deposit, Home, and Work. If you select Direct Deposit, all explanation of benefits will be sent to the provided email address and any claims payable will be deposited to the bank account provided. This is the quickest and simplest way to receive claim reimbursement. Once selected, you will be required to add the email address and banking details provided on the enrollment form. If you select Home and do not include an email address, all explanation of benefits will be mailed, along with claim reimbursement via check, to the provided home address. Once selected, you will be required to add the home address information provided on the enrollment form. If you select Work and do not include an email address, all explanation of benefits will be mailed along with claim reimbursement via check to the work address. Once selected, you won't be required to enter any other information. Once you have selected the correct claim payment destination and have completed the address and banking section, save your progress, then click Next. Complete the coordination of benefits section if applicable. If on the enrollment form under Benefit Selection, the employee has indicated that their spouse has alternate coverage, answer the EHC and dental options accordingly. Carrier name refers to the spouse's insurance company. Once complete, save your progress, then click Next. 
Complete the dependent information section using the completed enrollment form if the employee has family coverage. We encourage you to review the instructions noted here on how to properly complete this section of the enrollment process when two or more benefit plans are involved. Click Add if there is more than one dependent. Continue to complete this section until all dependents information has been entered. Do not add a dependent child that is over the age of 21 or, according to your plan design, is no longer considered dependent. Have the employee confirm student status by completing the Declaration of Student Eligibility form found on RAM.com. Send the completed form to your RAM administration team at csr-groupadmin at ram.com for processing. RAM will add the student once the approval process is complete. Once you have completed this section, save your progress, then click Next. Review the Benefits and Coverage section for accuracy. Active indicates coverage that is applicable. Nil indicates coverage that is not applicable. Fields that are grayed out are part of your mandatory plan design and cannot be altered. Now click Save Certificate. Please look for Certificate Saved Successfully at the top of your screen to confirm completion. If the employee has provided their email address, a RAM One card and welcome letter will be generated automatically and emailed to them. The plan member can use their welcome letter and RAM One card to access their member portal and start accessing benefits as per their eligibility date. A welcome letter and plastic RAM One card will be mailed to you, the plan administrator, for distribution. If at any time you want to download, view, or even resend a welcome letter or RAM One card for your plan member, you can do so by clicking Welcome Letter and One Card and selecting the option that best suits your needs. And that's it! Congratulations, you've successfully completed adding an employee on the RAM Plan Administrator Services website. Well done! Want more self-guided tutorials? Click the Resource Book button on the Plan Administrator Services website for access to our library for resources made just for RAM Plan Administrators. If you have any questions or want a more detailed one-on-one -on -one tutorial, contact your RAM Administration team at csr-groupadmin at ram.com. Thanks for watching.